classroom. Hi everyone. Come on into the classroom. It's great to see you. We aren't the only ones in the classroom today. Today, there are lots of little creatures all over. Can you see them? Let's take a closer look. Do you see it? There's another one. And another one. <laughs> Whoa. There's lots of bugs. Bugs are really interesting creatures. We have a lot of amazing things to explore today. But first, let's wave a big hello to all our friends. Let's wave and sing. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? Shout it out. <laughs> nice to meet you. Lots of bugs. <laughs> bugs might seem like creepy crawlers, but usually they just want to be left alone. When I see a bug outside, I try and leave it alone and give it lots of room. I don't bother the bug and bugs don't bother me. There are lots of different kinds of bugs too. There are over 900 thousand different kinds of bugs, all different kinds. Some have lots of legs and some have wings. Oh, and some have spots like this bug. It's a ladybug. Have you seen a ladybug before? Ladybugs are red with black spots. Let's count how many spots this ladybug has. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spots. Great counting. Ladybugs also have wings. Look at that. They fold up their wings, so we usually don't see them unless they're flying. Let's pretend to fly like a ladybug. Stretch out your wings and fly <laughs> like a ladybug. Great flying, everybody. You all make great ladybugs. Oh, look at this bug. This is a type of beetle. There are lots and lots of different types of beetles but they all have the same amount of legs. Let's count how many legs a beetle has. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. Let's pretend to make six legs using our fingers. Three over here, three over here. We can make our beetle crawl around on six legs. Do, 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 do. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, look at this bug. We know what this is. It's a spider. Let's count how many legs a spider has. A spider has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. <laughs> Great counting, everybody. I know a song about a spider. When we sing it, we can move our hands to make a spider crawling up the water spout. I'll show you how. Try making two L's with your fingers and thumbs, then turn one upside down and twist your fingers up like this 
to make a crawling spider. That's it. Let's sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider together. Follow me. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> That's it. Let's sing it all together, everyone. Are your spiders ready? Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> Let's make a big spider. And we can sing in a low voice like this. The big, big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the big, big spider went up the spout again. <laughs> Let's do a teeny tiny itsy bitsy baby spider and we'll sing in a high voice. The teensy weensy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the teensy weensy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> Let's try going fast. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> Let's go as fast as we can. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Whew, that was a fast spider. <laughs> Give yourselves a big clap. Nice job. So many different kinds of spiders. Big ones, teeny ones, and fast ones too. <laughs> there are so many different kinds of bugs. Did you know there are way more bugs on earth than there are people? It's true, but we don't see them all the time because they're so small. And a lot of them live under rocks or in the earth where we can't see them. But if we go looking for them, we might find a whole bunch. Let's go looking for bugs in the discovery bin. Ooh. Ooh, the discovery bin is filled with some dirt, lots of other things from outside. Can you see any bugs? Oh, I see a ladybug. There's lots of different bugs. Wow. There's always more hiding around. So let's dig and see what we can find. Hmm. Oh, do you see this? Look at this. We found one. Whoa. This bug has lots of little legs. There you go. Having bugs in the soil is really good for the plants. Helps them grow. Bugs also like to hide under rocks. Let's take a look. Nothing there. Hmm. Maybe here? <gasps> Whoa! Look at this bug! It's an orange color. Ooh, it looks really neat. There you go. Do you see this one? It's hiding under the moss. Let's take a closer look. Ooh. All the bugs are so different. They're so interesting. Oh, I bet there's something under this big rock. Should we take a look? Let's see. Here we go. 
Yeah, we know what this is. Has eight legs. A spider, yeah. Here you go, little spider, back in your home. Let's try looking under the leaves. Never know what you might find. Ah, look at this one. <laughs> I actually made this bug from a rock I found outside. I painted it and decorated it to look like a little beetle. <laughs> I'll show you how you can make a rock bug like this at home. Let's gather the things we need. Some things we need for this craft are cotton swabs, googly eyes, some smooth rocks, and a grown-up. You can find your rocks to make our rock bugs outside. A nice smooth round rock works really well. I like this one. Once it's clean, we want to paint it white. That's because it makes whatever color we paint our rock bug look really bright instead of just painting right on the gray rock. I'm gonna paint our rock bug red. Can you guess what bug I'm gonna make? What bug is the color red? A ladybug, yeah. So we'll paint our whole rock. It's a little tricky to paint a rock, but really fun. <laughs> Once it's all covered, then we'll leave that to dry. That looks good. And once it's dry, we can decorate it. So to make our ladybug, we can use some black paint and make a little head for our ladybug. There we go, a little black head. And we'll make a line down the middle. So remember, ladybugs have two wings. There we go. <laughs> what else do ladybugs have? Spots. But to make perfect round spots, you can use a cotton swab dipped in some black paint. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> there we go, we got some polka dots. Now let's give our ladybug some googly eyes. We'll add those with a little bit of glue. One, two, there we go. Whoa, hello little ladybug. What a cute little ladybug we made. <laughs> and you can make any kind of bug you like. Maybe a beetle or a buzzing bumblebee. <laughs> you can even try making up your own special kind of bug. I can't wait to see what bugs you make at home. Let's go on a field trip to see some real bugs. We might even be able to hold them. What do you think of that? <laughs> the bugs we'll see on this field trip are special friendly kinds of bugs. Let's go. Hi everybody. We are here at the Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory with our friend Jen, who's gonna show us some of her cool bugs that she has here. Come on and meet our insect friends. Wow, what bug is this? This is a thorny devil walking stick. We call her Teresa. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Wow. A thorny devil walking stick, because it kind of looks like a stick. And it has these thorns on it here too. Yeah, they help to protect her so that things like birds and other creatures in the wild don't want to eat her. Wow. Do you think I could hold Teresa? For sure, okay. she's really friendly. Come on, Teresa. Remember, these are special friendly bugs. If you see bugs like this somewhere and you don't know if they're friendly, it's best not to touch them. Hi, Teresa. She eats leaves and just hangs out in the trees. Very nice. Where does she live in the wild? In the wild, she's from Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands. Very cool. So Jen, what kind of bug is this? This is Stacy. She's a spiny stick insect from Australia. A spiny stick insect. She does have these spines all along her back, all over. She looks like a stick that you would see on a tree. She eats leaves from the trees too. So why would a bug pretend to be a stick like that? So predators, birds, and spiders, and things don't want to eat them. 
Oh, so they totally blend in and no one can see them. Exactly, they're really great at camouflaging. Oh, so Stacy's good at pretending. Wow, look at these bugs. This is Chuck and Nora, and there are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. A hissing cockroach? They make a hissing noise when they get scared. Wow, and they're from Madagascar. They are from Madagascar, Very and they cool. eat fruits and vegetables. So they're really good at recycling things out in nature. Yeah. And the things that keep us healthy also keep them healthy. Yeah, we like fruits and vegetables. Yeah, for sure. Can I try holding one? Definitely. Don't hiss. That's Chuck. Hi, Chuck. He's got little bumps on the top of his head. It tells us he's one of the boys. Wow. You can see they've got six legs, too, because they are an insect. All insects have six legs. Exactly. I like his little antennas. Smelling and feeling around. Look who's this person? I'm your friend Katie. Whoa! Check out this guy. Who's this? This is Millie, our giant Asian millipede. A giant Asian millipede. Look how many legs. Does that mean that she has a million legs and no. she's a millipede? She can have about three or four hundred legs. That's still a lot of legs. Yes. Three or four hundred legs. Her little toes help to hold on like little bristles on a toothbrush. Yeah, they tickle. I wonder how big can an Asian millipede get? This is about as big as Millie gets. She's pretty big. I like her. It tickles. <laughs> Millie really likes to dig in the dirt. And she eats fruits and veggies. Lots of fruits and veggies for insects. It tickles. Look at all those legs moving. Wow. Jen, thank you so much for sharing all these really neat bugs with us. Oh, you're most welcome. Glad you could come and visit them. Yeah, it was lots of fun. Bye. In here lives a tarantula named Rosie. A tarantula is a kind of spider. It says she's been living here for nine years, and some tarantulas can live to be 30 years old. Wow. Let's see if we can find her. Where are you, Rosie? There she is. She's hanging out in the back, behind a rock, hiding. Hi, Rosie. In here, there's Asian bush katydids. They look like really big crickets. You can see there's six legs. So that means they're an insect. And you can see the things that they eat. Fruits and vegetables. Just like Jen said, there's some sweet potato, and zucchini, and an apple. Mmm. Look, this is a jade-headed beetle because of the color green on its head. And it's eating. Yum, yum. Oh, look at all these different kinds of beetles. Some are really small, and some are really big. There's so many different kinds of beetles, and a new kind of beetle is being discovered every day. Isn't that amazing? These are called rhinoceros beetles. Can you guess why? Check out their horns. So many cool bugs. Wow, there are so many kinds of interesting bugs. It was so neat to see them up close at the Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory. Those bugs are really interesting. I wasn't too scared. <laughs> Some people do feel scared around bugs. Do you know the story of Little Miss Muffet? She came across a spider and then... Well, why don't we look at the story together with the Kamishi vibe? This is a kamishibai. It's a special form of storytelling from Japan. And today's story is Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating some curds and whey. Mmm, curds and whey, yum, yum. <laughs> Along came a spider who sat down beside her. Hello, 
Mind if I sit here? <laughs> and frightened Miss Muffet away. Where'd she go? Little Mr. Spider, who sat down beside her, was now eating the curds and whey. Along came his mother, his father and brother, who said, share with us, okay? <laughs> yum, yum, yummy. When they had their fill, they hopped to the sill and spun together a web. It said, we hate to be rude, so thanks for the food. And with that, they went away. When little Miss Muffet went back to her tuffet, she saw what the spiders did spin. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> and from that moment there, she would never be scared of the spiders ever again. The end. Little Miss Muffet wasn't so scared of the spiders after all. I really do like bugs. And I like playing and exploring with all of you. I had a lot of fun today. It's time now to sing a big goodbye to all our friends, but I'll see you again soon. Let's wave and sing. Bye bye, goodbye. Thanks for playing with me. <laughs> see you soon. classroom. Hi everybody! Come on into the classroom. Do you hear that? What kind of sound is that? It sounds like a buzzing bee. It is a buzzing bee! Hello little bee! Can you make a buzzing bee with your hand? Bye-bye, bee! <laughs> Honeybees are amazing creatures. They make honey and they help fruits and vegetables grow. Some of our friends might feel a little scared of bees because sometimes they sting and that can hurt. But I've learned if we give them lots of room and leave them alone, usually they don't bother us. If there's a bee buzzing around you, pretend to be a statue and stay very still until the bee buzzes away. Bzzz, bye bye bee. <laughs> Let's say a big hello to all our friends in the classroom today. Let's wave and sing. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? Can you shout it out? Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, look, a flower. Honeybees like flowers. <laughs> Honeybees gather nectar from flowers to make their honey. They have to visit a lot of flowers to get enough nectar. So, let's find some more. Do you see any flowers? Oh, look, lots of flowers. All different colors. Ooh, these flowers will have lots of nectar for our honey. <laughs> Honeybees gather the nectar then take them back to their homes called beehives. Inside the beehive, they store the nectar 
in a honeycomb. A honeycomb is a bunch of little storage spaces side by side, kind of like this. Let's pretend this ice cube tray is a honeycomb and we'll fill all the little spaces with nectar from the flowers. Bzzz. Which flower should we visit first? Bzzz. The blue flower, okay. Honeybees suck up the nectar from the flower using their tongue. It's like a really thin straw. And it goes to a special place called the honey stomach. Then they fly back to the hive and fill up the honeycomb. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more nectar. No wonder they're called busy bees. Bzzz. All right, let's get to work. Let's visit the red flower. Bzzz. There it is. Suck up the nectar. <laughs> back to the hive. Bzzz. Fill up the honeycomb. Oh, nice job, little bee. Bzzz. Ooh, the orange flower. Ooh, lots of nectar in this one. There you go. Full stomach. Bzzz. Back to the hive. Fill up the honeycomb. All day long, back and forth. Bzzz. The purple flower. There we go. Some yummy nectar. Nectar is usually pretty sweet. Bzzz. Fill up the honeycomb. It's a big job. We're almost there. Bzzz. Let's try the yellow flower. There we go. Slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> Bzzz. Can we do it? Oh, great job, little bee. We filled up the whole honeycomb with nectar. <laughs> when a honeybee finds a bunch of flowers filled with nectar like this, it will tell the other bees so they can find them too. But the way they speak is not by talking, but by dancing. Yeah, they do the waggle dance. I wonder how it works though. I'm curious. Let's check the curiosity cupboard. Aha, look at this. This is how the bee can tell the other bees where the flower with lots of nectar is. First, the bee moves in a circle to get the attention of the other bees and then waggles in the direction of the flowers in relation to the sun. The waggles tell the other bees which direction to fly, but also how far to fly. The longer the waggles, the further away the flowers. Isn't that amazing? Waggle, waggle, waggle. <laughs> I think that's so neat. Let's pretend to do the waggle dance all together. We can move in a circle, then wiggle, 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 <laughs> move the other way, and wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> nice wiggle dancing, everybody. My friend Madison is a beekeeper, and she showed me the inside of a beehive, and I saw real bees doing the real wiggle dance, and lots more. Let's go on a field trip and I'll show you. Come on. Hi, Madison. Oh, hi, Katie. Why don't you tell our friends a little bit about where we are and what you do here? So I'm actually an urban beekeeper, so I take care of bees in the city. And so we're actually on a rooftop in downtown Toronto where it's a home for three honeybee hives. And here they are. And here they are. So it's great that there's bees on rooftops so even in big cities we can still have bees because I keep hearing about how bees are really important. Yeah, so bees are super important, uh, especially for our food. So 
These are the ones that create fruits out of flowers. So oh. without honeybees, all of the beautiful apple tree blossoms wouldn't turn into apples at the end of the season. Oh, so we need the bees to have all the food that we're used to eating. Absolutely. And they make honey too, and we eat honey. I find city bees make the best honey. So is all the honey in these hives? Yeah, it is. Would you like to take a look? Inside? Inside the beehive? Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay. Right, so this is the beehive. Well, if we're gonna open the beehive, aren't we supposed to have like a, a, a bee suit or something? Uh, we don't really, we don't use them because we're super nice to the bees. So long as you move really slowly, the bees aren't gonna sting you. They only care about flowers. They don't really care <laughs> about us. Okay, good. Yeah. Right. So the first thing I always do before I go into a hive is I have my smoker. So that's this really fun thing right here. <laughs> Look at that, it's like a chimney. Exactly, it's a chimney with a spout. Uh, so bees can talk through smells. Uh, so there are guard bees whose job it is to make sure that no intruders get into the hive. But if I use this, it covers up all of those smells so the bees don't know that we're going in and we're all friends. Great. So in this bottom box, this is where the queen is. So that's where all the baby bees are. Mm -hmm. So we'll check in and see how they're doing. Okay. So I'm just moving nice and slow. So, oh, this is a heavy one. Wow. Yeah. So you can see, oh, this is a great frame. There's lots wow. of fun stuff. So in the corners here is all honey. And in the middle, do you see all those beautiful colors? Yeah. So that's all pollen. So bees need both honey and pollen for their food. So right there, they have a little bit of pollen on their back legs. And this girl right here, so she's doing the waggle dance. So she found some flowers not too far away. And she's actually telling the other bees where they can find those flowers. By waggling. By waggling, yeah. She's telling them how to get there, how many bees to send, how far away it is, all in a dance. That's so neat. So this is all honey underneath that waxy coating they put on top. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll find another honey frame to show you both stages. So this is a frame of uh, fresh honey. So you see all of this liquid gold shining in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all fresh honey that the bees have brought in this summer. Wow. So they're visiting lots of flowers all across the city and they're bringing the nectar back and storing it in each of these cells. And then the bees will fan their wings and flap away all of that extra water. And then when it's all done, they'll coat it with a little bit of beeswax. To let you know it's done. Let you know it's done, exactly. And we know that it's ready to eat. Would you, would you like to try some? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. I can't wait to see what it's gonna taste like. Amazing. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, that's so beautiful? sweet. That's so yummy. It's kind of like caramel, mm -hmm. like toasty. Really yummy. Well, thank you so much for showing us all this honey and how you make honey and all the bees. It's been really fun, Madison. Yeah, it's been lovely to have you. Yeah, well, we love bees. Go bees. Thanks, Madison. Thank you. Mmm. Do you like honey? Those honey bees made some delicious honey. Here comes a honeybee now. Bzzz. Uh-oh, the bee's on my shoulder. I better stay very still like a statue. Bzzz. Where'd the bee go? On my head? Uh-oh. <laughs> Bzzz. Where's the bee now? On my nose. <laughs> Bzzz. Oh, look, the bee went inside the beehive. Can you make a beehive with your hand? Let's sing Here is the Beehive together. Follow along with me. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Here they come flying out of their hive. One, two, three, 
four, five. Bzzz. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Here they come flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Make them buzz. Bzzz. Buzz up high. Bzzz. Buzz down low. Bzzz. Buzzing fast. Bzzz. Buzzing slow. Bzzz. Buzz to the left. Bzzz. Buzz to the right. Buzz all day, but sleep at night. Shh. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Here they come, flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Bye-bye, bees! <laughs> Give yourselves a big clap! <laughs> bees will always buzz back to their hive. Can we help some colorful bees find their way back to their hive? These bees have to get back to the right colored hive. We can help you, little bees. <laughs> Let's match them up. Hmm, which hive does this blue bee belong to? Bzzz. This one? No. Bzzz. This one, the blue bee in the blue hive. There you go. <laughs> Let's match the rest. What color is this? Purple. Bzzz. Let's find the purple hive. There it is. There you go, little bee. The purple bee in the purple hive. Let's find the green hive. Bzzz. There it is. A match. <laughs> what color is this one? Red. Do you see the red hive? Bzzz. Right here. <laughs> In you go, little bee. Can you find the orange hive? Bzzz. That's it. There you go, little orange bee. One more, a yellow bee. Bzzz. Last one, in the hive. There you go, we did it. All the bees are matched with the right colored hive. <laughs> we can make our own beehive. I'll show you how you can make a beehive like this at home. Let's gather the things we need. Some things we need for this craft are yellow pom-poms, black pipe cleaners, bubble wrap, and a grown-up. We're gonna make our beehive with some bubble wrap. First, we want to paint orange all over our bubble wrap. The bubble wrap is going to be a stamp and the bubbles will kind of make a honeycomb pattern, just like the inside of the beehive. There we go. We'll stamp the bubble wrap onto our yellow piece of paper. There we go, push down. <laughs> All right, let's see, here it comes. Ooh, look at that. Wow, so neat. We'll leave this aside to dry. And once it's dry, you can cut out a beehive shape. Look at that. And we'll glue it to a tree branch that I just drew out of some crayon on a blue piece of paper. We'll glue it on like that. And we'll add some black lines to make it look a little bit more round. The beehive that Madison showed us were made by people, but bees can make their own beehives in the wild 
and they look a little bit more like this. Look at that. <laughs> now we need a little bee for our beehive. We'll make that out of a yellow pom-pom and I cut a black pipe cleaner in half. We'll loop it around like that to make the bees stripes. Then we'll add some googly eyes with some glue and some wings. I just cut these wings out of regular white paper. We'll add two eyes. One, two. <laughs> There's our little bee. Bzzz. Fly back to your hive, bee. Bzzz. There you go. We've been some busy bees today, haven't we? Let's rest our buzzing bees for a bit and use our imagination instead. I'll read from The Book of Pretending and you can close your eyes and imagine the pictures in your head. No peeking. Close your eyes and use your imagination. Are your eyes closed? Okay, now let's pretend. You are a honeybee. You have a tiny yellow and black body. You have six small legs and two big wings. You live with lots of friends in a beehive that hangs from a tree. Every bee is buzzing in the hive. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Now it's time to leave the hive and start your job today. You flap your wings and zoom through the air. The buzzing grows quieter and quieter as you fly away. Buzz, 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 buzz. Now you get to work. You look for brightly colored flowers. You see pink flowers, purple flowers, and even orange flowers. You spot a giant yellow flower in a garden. That's the one you want. You land on the petal and walk down towards the middle of the flower. Your antenna moves around and feels something sticky. It's nectar. You quickly sip up as much as you can. Mmm, it tastes so sweet and delicious. Sip, 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 sip. Mmm. <sighs> Your belly is full. It's time to get back to the hive. You slowly lift off, your wings flapping hard. Flap, flap. You fly as best as you can on a full stomach. You can hear buzzing again. Buzz, buzz, you're getting close to your hive. One last turn and you swoop inside. Your job is done for the day and it tasted so good. Open your eyes. <laughs> Great job, little bees. Using our imagination is a lot of fun. And I had a lot of fun playing and learning and exploring with all of you today. It's time to say goodbye, but I'll see you again soon. Let's buzz over here. Buzz. <laughs> and we'll wave and sing a big goodbye to all our friends. Bye bye. Goodbye. Thanks for playing with me. See you soon. Bzz. Sing. Learn. Create. And play. In Katie's classroom. Hello. Welcome to the classroom. Do you know what I am? I am a butterfly. Oh, hello, butterfly. And hello to all of you. Come here. Oh, wow. Butterflies are beautiful, aren't they? Have you ever seen one before? They're super special. I have lots of neat things to share with you about them today. Oh, there it goes. Bye-bye, butterfly. <laughs> well, let's wave a big hello to all of our friends in the classroom. Let's wave and sing. Hello, hello, what's 
your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? Shout it out, nice and loud. Hi, nice to meet you. Let's be friends. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Nice singing. Can you stretch out your arms and make some butterfly wings? Beautiful. <laughs> Butterflies actually have four wings, two on the top and two on the bottom, and they are symmetrical. That means they're the same on both sides. Look at this butterfly's wings. They're orange and black with some yellow and white polka dots. And they're the same on both sides. They're symmetrical. Let's look at some other butterfly wings in the window. We just need the big red button. I know it's around here somewhere. I'll take a quick look for it and I'll be right back. Hmm, where's the button? Oh, found it. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at this beautiful butterfly wing. What colors do you see? I see purple and some red and yellow dots. It's really pretty. But where's the other wing? Let's take a look for it. Remember, butterfly wings are symmetrical. So a match would have to be the same on both sides. Ooh, what about this butterfly wing? I see a beautiful blue color and some purple, but is it a match? Nope, it's not symmetrical. So it can't be the other butterfly wing. Let's try again. Hmm, this is pretty. What color is this wing? It's green, wait. That's not the same. It does have some red and yellow dots though. But to be symmetrical, everything has to be the same on both sides. So is this a match? Nope. Let's push the big red button and we'll keep looking. I think we found it. Is this a match? I see purple on both sides and red and yellow polka dots. It's the exact same. That means it's symmetrical and it's a match. What a beautiful butterfly we made. Nice job, everybody. We can make symmetrical butterfly wings out of some paint and paper too. I'll show you how you can make a butterfly like this at home. Let's gather the things we need. Some things we need for this craft are scissors, white paper, a few different colors of paint, and a grown-up. We've got lots of different colored paints just like all the different colors we saw in our butterfly wings. And a thick piece of paper that's gonna help hold all this paint. To start, we fold our thick piece of paper in half, match up the corners as best you can, and open it up. And we're gonna put paint on one half of the piece of paper. Let's start with some purple. Make some purple globs like that. 
There we go, three purple globs. <laughs> How about some yellow? Maybe some yellow lines. You can make it any way you like. Any kind of design you can think of. Let's add some green. Maybe some little green dots. Maybe four green dots. There. And some orange. Let's add some orange zigzags. Ooh. I think this is gonna be really silly. And how about some blue? Little blue lines. There we go. I wonder what this is gonna look like. Now we fold the paper back in half and squish, squish, squish all the paint. When we open it up, we'll have a symmetrical painting. Are you ready to see our butterfly wings? Let's open it up. Ooh, look at that. Wow, it's so pretty, all the different colors. And it's symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. Once the paint is all dry, we can cut out some butterfly wings and add a butterfly body. I made this butterfly body with some black construction paper and some googly eyes. We'll add it on with some glue right in the middle. And there is our beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I'd love to see how your butterfly wings turn out. I bet they'd be really pretty and symmetrical. We can make some butterfly wings with our hands too. Just hold your hands out like two pieces of paper and bring them together like this. And there's a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> that reminds me of a song. Do you know what song I'm thinking of? Rock, scissors, paper. <laughs> Let's sing it together. Follow me. Rock, scissors, paper. Rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three. Play with me. Right hand, paper. Left hand, paper. It's a butterfly. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, rock. Left hand, scissors. It's a snail. <laughs> rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, scissors. Left hand, scissors. It's a crab. <laughs> rock, scissors, paper. Rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three. Play with me. Right hand, paper. Left hand, paper. Uh-oh, it's a lion. Roar! <laughs> rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, paper, left hand, paper. Oh, it's a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, rock. Left hand, paper. Ooh, it's a jellyfish. <laughs> There's so many things we can make. Let's make a butterfly one more time. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, paper, left hand, paper. Let's see your butterflies. Oh, so pretty. Bye-bye, <laughs> butterfly.
Try this one. Right hand paper. Left hand paper. <laughs> Give yourselves a clap. Great job, everybody. Oh, there's so many things we can make using our hands. You know, butterflies weren't born with butterfly wings. Butterflies weren't born butterflies at all. They go through metamorphosis and turn into butterflies. It's pretty amazing. Hmm. I wonder how metamorphosis happens. I'm curious. Let's check the curiosity cupboard. Maybe it has something that will help explain metamorphosis. Ooh. <gasps> Look what we found. The stages of metamorphosis. This will help explain how it goes from this to this. It all starts with a little egg from a butterfly. First, a mama butterfly lays an egg. The egg sits out somewhere on a leaf until it's ready to hatch. Then out comes a caterpillar. Caterpillars crawl on the ground with their many little feet and they love to eat leaves. Yum, yum. Then, one day, the caterpillar hangs upside down and starts to make a chrysalis. A chrysalis is made out of silk and it completely covers the caterpillar. So the caterpillar can begin metamorphosis. That means the caterpillar is changing into something else and it becomes a butterfly. It's amazing, isn't it? Let's go through the stages of metamorphosis with this scarf. First, there's an egg. Let's make an egg with our scarf. There. Do you remember what comes next? Out comes a caterpillar hatching from the egg and munching on leaves. Munch, 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 munch. <laughs> Then the caterpillar hangs and makes a chrysalis. Do you remember what happens next? Out comes the butterfly. Beautiful. <laughs> I was really lucky and I got to see butterflies coming out of their chrysalis at a butterfly conservatory. It was really amazing. Let's take a field trip all together to the Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory. There's lots of beautiful butterflies all over there. Let's go. Hey everybody. We are here at the Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory with our friend Jen, who is a butterfly expert. We're in this amazing room filled with butterflies. Hi, Jen. Hi. So how many butterflies are here? This is home to about 2,000 butterflies. 2,000 butterflies, wow. And how many different kinds of butterflies are there in the whole world? In the whole world, there's about 20,000 different kinds. Here, look, here, here, here one comes. Wow. 20,000 different butterflies and 2,000 butterflies in this room. That's amazing. What are some things that butterflies like to eat? Oh, butterflies have a special straw that they drink with, so they feed from rotten, stinky fruit. Delicious. Rotten bananas and oranges, nectar from flowers, and Gatorade. Gatorade. Flavored Gatorade. They like the electrolytes. Yeah, they definitely do. Interesting. Yeah, I know. And they all do it with their little straw they that they have? They got a little have. straw. Yeah. Very it's cool. It's called a proboscis. A proboscis. A proboscis. Big fancy science word. That's a big word. That's yeah. true. The butterflies, they don't start out as butterflies. No, they right? don't. They start out as eggs. Come on and I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look. Here's some eggs right here. Oh, wow. That's how a butterfly starts. Me too. Their eggs are glued onto a plant that the caterpillar likes to eat. So inside there are little baby caterpillars. They're so small. They are. But they'll come out in a few days and then they're gonna grow. And we've got a bigger caterpillar right oh, here. Wow. You can see where he's been eating some of the leaves to grow bigger. Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice. 
then how does a caterpillar become a butterfly? Oh, come on, I'll show you the next part. Okay, let's go. Come on over and see the chrysalids. This is the Whoa. next part after the caterpillar. So inside each one of these, the caterpillar is turning into a butterfly. Wow. So the caterpillar turns itself into a chrysalis. How long do they stay inside the chrysalis for? They're inside for about two weeks. And then out comes the butterfly, and they stretch and dry their wings, and then they fly off with their friends. Wow, so these are all new, brand new butterflies. Today's their birthday. Happy birthday, butterflies. They're so pretty. They're beautiful. Some look shiny and gold. And some look like a leaf. Yeah. All kinds of different colors and shapes. Amazing. I love all the different colors and they come out, they're so pretty. Thanks so much for showing us all this, Jen. Oh, you're it's welcome. amazing. I'm glad you guys could come and meet our butterfly friends. Us too. Look! Look at all the butterflies. Beautiful. Butterflies are amazing. <sighs> that was amazing, wasn't it? So many beautiful butterflies. Here's another one. Oh, look. This butterfly is black with some purple and blue. Those are really pretty colors. Oh, it's flying away. I wonder where it's going. Oh, to the discovery bin. <laughs> Do you think there's other butterflies hiding in the discovery bin? Let's dive in and we'll find out. Let's see. Ooh, they're gonna be tricky to see with all these colors. Oh, I think I see something. Do you see that butterfly? Yeah. Ooh. This butterfly is a light blue color with some black stripes. Dots, really interesting. It's a pretty pattern. Let's keep looking. There's some butterflies in here. Oh, I think I see something here. That looks interesting. Look at this one. Ooh, it's a pink butterfly. With some black and blue. Ooh, it's a nice one. A pink and blue butterfly. Oh, and here's another blue butterfly. Wow, it's symmetrical, the same on both sides. Should we look down here? Let's see what butterflies we can see. Ooh, do you see one? It's hiding, but we found it. Wow, this one is green with some yellow and black. That's a really pretty one green butterfly. How about over here? Where are you, butterfly? Do you see any? Oh, do you see one? Yeah, right here. Look at that. This is a really interesting looking butterfly. Yellow with some black stripes. Ooh, really pretty. Let's count all the butterflies we found. There's one, 
two, three, four, five. Five butterflies. We found lots of butterflies today. All over. <laughs> I had a lot of fun playing with you. I hope you had fun too. Let's fly like a butterfly over here. Spread your wings. Fly, fly, fly. <laughs> and we'll wave and sing a big goodbye to all our friends. Bye, bye, goodbye. Thanks for playing with me. See you soon. <laughs>